Yes, football's back. Welcome back, in it, fans? Bristol Rovers are home today. I'm saying score prediction, deja vu from last year, 3-1 Pompey. What about you, Mish? Well, I don't think it'd be as easy as everyone thinks, so I'll be happy with a 1-0 Riley Taylor header at the end. First one of the season then, Mush. Who's on the Wall of Fame today? Well, Wall of Fame today. We have gone to the iPad, although he is up in the office in the checker tray pictures. Uh, but I thought this was a brilliant picture because it's got three players linked to both clubs. So today, it's Lee Brown. Will, welcome to the club. Can we get Pompey in it? Pompey in it. And today's player profile is our one and only Marlon Pack. It's a card. Oh, so you card. will pick a card and I'll questions growing up who was your boyhood footballing hero uh michael owen who has been your most difficult opponent in football uh, kevin de bruyne Ooh. favorite other sport golf um favorite film slash movie uh favorite film gladiator can we get a pompey in it pompey in it tony what's your score prediction today two nil pompey who else <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts on the new shirt? You've got it? Do you like it? The new shirt, yeah. I like this one, yeah. I don't particularly like the third one. Randy, what's your score prediction today? 1-0 Rovers. Bold. But I'd be happy if we w w went away with a draw, to be honest. Portsmouth are a good team. I believe you'll be one of the teams going up. Definitely. Who would you have as your two centre-backs this year? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> I'm more goalkeeper interested than uh, centre backs. Towler? Towler and Ogilvy. Hi, Joe. I gather you've flown in from Canada and you couldn't wait to see Pompey play again. When was the last time you were here? Seven years ago. And obviously, you haven't gone in yet, but from the outside, do you see anything that's changed since you were last here? No, but I know that they've been doing really developments inside. I'm here with Jim Barber, party star. Cohen Barber. And what's the score prediction for today? 2 0, Pompey. I reckon a 3 1 win. I'm here with Jane and Healy. What's the score predictions for today? L I'll be happy with a draw. <laughs> Personally, we're not really great at the first game of the season. So we've not got a great record on the first game of the season, have we, Mama? No. Um, I think 2 1 to Rovers today and feeling positive. Yeah. Who were you? Mo who were you most looking forward to see? Uh, well, I mean, it's been a long time, so I really haven't seen much of the new team. So all of them. He gets in a bit of trouble. Is Joey Barton the man for you? He is, but unfortunately, he's not here today. And hopefully, he'll c come in in the uh, kit bag. There's been quite a lot of summer signings. Been quite positive. Is this our year? I hope so. I say this every year we come here on the first game of the season. We all think it's going to be our year, but um, let's hope so. Fingers crossed. And who would your centre-half pair be this year? I reckon it's got to be, shame to say it, it's got to be Towler and uh, the new geezer. What's his name? Regan Paul. Eh? Regan Paul, yeah. Oh, Sean Essie? Yeah, Player three back. Yeah, yeah maybe three back, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably Sean Essie... Um, Paul and Towler, probably. Fair enough. And from your summer signings, is there anyone we should look out for? Just got a good defender from Stoke called Connor Taylor, centre defender. Uh, happy to see him back. And we've got uh, Giovanni Brown and Luke Thomas, good attacking midfielders. So I think you said it all, really, Ellie. Eh, yeah. And score prediction for today? I think it's going to be 2 0 Portsmouth. And is playoffs a realistic target for you this year? I think where we finished last year and what we'd be aiming for, we would be aiming for, myself, a top 10 finish, but a lot of pundits are saying c we could even get in the playoffs, which hopefully I'd like to do.
Yeah. Uh, so far. so much and especially in front of the Frattenen. And our last Aussie that we had here at the club was John Aloisi. Are you going to do better than him? I hope so. I hope so. I'm going to score a lot of goals. And can we get Pompey in it? Pompey in it. Thank you. Thank you. Can we get Pompey in it? Pompey in it. Cheers. And can we get Pompey in it? Pompey in it. Pompey in it. Can we get Pompey in it? Yep, Pompey in it. And can we get Pompey in it? Pompey in it. <laughs> Pompey in it. And can we get Pompey in it? Pompey in it. Pompey in it. We're back in the memorabilia room. Final score was 1-1. One, one. Um, it was a good game, end to end. But second half, we dominated. Marquis just kept on falling over, time wasting. But, yeah. But other than that, it was an end to end game, exciting. What about you, Mush? Yeah, I thought, I thought in the end, I suppose a draw was a fair result. I think maybe we had better chances in the yeah. second half. Um, but I think, to be honest, the expectation is so high. Um, some people were thinking, oh, yeah, we're going to win this easy. But, yeah, it was, I thought it was a fair enough game. I said that if we scored earlier, we might have actually had a chance and we might have we might have got back in the game and maybe we got the three points that we were looking for. But a point is still a point. And anyway, it's first game of the season. It yeah, doesn't think, matter. I think out of the first four games, that is going to probably be the hardest one. Yeah. So I think I'm quite confident going into next Saturday. I think, as Tony Pulis used to say, they need time to gel. So I think they'll be fine. Well, thank you for watching this video. We will 
I hope you like and subscribe, and we'll roll on Tuesday for the Carabao Cup at Forest Green.